Um, okay, so Caleb often complains that he is perpetually single. In fact, the only relationship he's ever been in was with a 15-year-old girl. He claims he was 15 at the time, but I'm pretty sure that he was just trying to catfish the paedophile hunters on Habbo Hotel. <laughs> me and Jake laid some grand rules at the start of the roast. He said, there's one thing he doesn't want me to joke about. He said, just leave his mum alone. He said, just leave her, just leave her. So I will leave her, just like Jake's dad did. <laughs> Joke's on you, dickhead, they're still together. Oh, I just saw a picture of her and naturally assumed. <laughs> touché, my friend, touché. Uh, <laughs> um, so Caleb often messages me to brag that um, sometimes after gigs, he has to leave early to go and fuck somebody nearby. Personally, I'm just, like, I think it's quite sweet to know that he's happy to disappoint multiple times in one night. Jake looks like he came from an alternate world where meth gave you fucking munchies. <laughs> and yet I still wouldn't eat your ass. You're the only one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just picturing the horrible thought of eating his ass. Oh, you defo don't wash your ass. Um, now, I, I shouldn't take the piss out of Caleb's appearance too much. Uh, I actually work a lot with charities that deal with people that uh, suffer from leukaemia. Um, you, do, you do have leukaemia, right, Caleb? No, I'm just thin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, I, I, I just assumed you did because you looked like one of the ghosts of the kids murdered by John Wayne Gacy. All right, you bald, fat cunts. <laughs> Looks like a Freddie Quinn tribute act. <laughs> whoa, 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 we are very different, mate. The back of his neck is so spotty, I bet blind people can read it. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Jake, uh, Jake recently told me he was going on a diet. Diet, look at him. Last time this cunt consumed a vegetable was when he lost a cucumber up his arsehole. Uh, Caleb's uh, and, and told me, you know, he can take the piss out of my mum, fair enough. Uh, I didn't realise this was the roast of Julie Garrett. I thought that was the uh, radiotherapy. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, so Caleb actually told me that uh, last year he unfortunately lost, lost his nan to dementia. Um, although, honestly, I blame him for this because I've met the cunt and I'm literally dying to forget him as well. <laughs> This one's for you, Nan. <laughs> Why? She won't remember. I should probably address it. I should say, I don't know if you mentioned that your mum had cancer when you just said a fucking radiotherapy. No, His mum actually recently did survive a battle with cancer. Um, you know, she's so ugly, not even cancer will take her out. <laughs> Let's hope it's hereditary. Anyway. That isn't my roast, by the way. I just want to say that I think Jake looks like the Columbine shooter ate the other Columbine shooter. So it was bad. <laughs> oh, my poor mother. <laughs> um... So Caleb's pasty skin, actually, uh, it, it's not... Well, let me restart. I, <laughs> I knew Caleb was going to make a few jokes about the lack of hair that I have. Uh, thing is, Caleb, it's actually due to having more testosterone in my body, something you'd experience if you didn't wank yourself to oblivion every night. Uh, his pasty skin isn't actually due to malnutrition, as you may assume. Um, it's actually because he wanks in the bath so often that he gets out, it leaves himself covered in this weird film all over his body. Um, and it also works because uh, that weird goatee he's got going on is because he gives his bath plug the salt burn special every night. <laughs> it's the closest he's ever been with his dad. <laughs> okay, he's calling me pale. You're the whitest thing on this stage since Paul Smith's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I 
A Jake is bisexual, which means both men and women get to reject him. Honestly, he dresses like someone who'd be promoting his podcast at an EDL rally. I mean, that beard doesn't help. I mean, that's a face that's never seen a razor, and sadly, neither have his wrists. Enjoy the walk home, mate. <laughs> Should we do one more between you? Best one, one more between you, and then we'll do, uh, we'll do uh, our winner. That's my fifth one. <laughs> oh, that's your fifth yeah. one. Are you guys done? Oh, that's yeah. fucking amazing. Give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. Okie dokie, right. Okay. Uh, rap Battle of O'Shea, what do we think? Who took that one? Yeah, I think Caleb, the brummy lad, took that one. He was a bit quicker with the uh, quicker with the rebuttals and just a bit more funny, I think. Cheers, mate. Nice. What are we saying, uh, Phil Chapman? i, I got to say Caleb as well. He had some good comebacks as well, especially spit thinking off the cuff as well, so I'm going with Caleb. I'm saying as well, I reckon, like, I think we're both right here. I think Jake put up a really good fight. I thought it was dead good, but there was one or two lines from Caleb that I think were just top-notch. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give a huge round of applause to your winner of your first battle. Thank you very much. Caleb, Caleb!